Welcome to Sports News. Well, Nigeria's Super Falcons are through to the semi-finals of the ongoing African Women Championship in Namibia. Now, the six-time champions beat Zambia by six unreplied goals. And it took just two minutes for Ngozi Okobi to open the scoring at the Sam Nyoma Stadium. Osinacho Hale added the second goal on the fifth minute, while Desire Okwara Nose made it three heading into halftime. The reign of goals continued for the Super Falcons in the second half, with Aziza Fashola scoring her first goal of the tournament. Okwara Nose was again on the score sheet in the 81st minute before Perpetua and Kwacha made it six to complete a fine victory. It goes in bed, up in the air. A header comes in, and it's a goal. Easy, easy does it. Asking for the return ball. He's a Paranozzi, and a Paranozzi scores, finally. I see that. Still going and asking for it now. Perpetua and Quattro. And it's a goal. Beautiful from Perpetua and Quattro. Unbelievable. Well, the NFF Executive Committee, the new committee, will hold an emergency meeting in Abuja on Wednesday after the all-important 2015 AFCON qualifiers between the Super Eagles and the Falcons of Sudan. The meeting is expected to decide on the future of coach Stephen Keshi, who has been in charge of Nigeria's qualifying games for the Nations Cup for 2015 in a caretaker capacity. Coach Keshi has endured a Tory time in the second stint in charge of the Super Eagles, leading the team to two defeats and a draw in three games. The NFF has also thrown the gates open for the match against Sudan, which is a must-win for the African champions, who currently sit bottom of their group after picking just a single point out of a possible nine from three matches. Queen's Park Rangers defender Rio Ferdinand has been charged with misconduct by the Football Association over social media comments. The charge is believed to relate to Ferdinand's use of the word scat, which means a promiscuous girl or a woman, according to the Collins English Dictionary. Now, the 35-year-old wrote the tweet thought to have led to the charge on September the 1st in reply to a message sent to him suggesting his team needed a new centre-half. He has until October the 21st to respond. Andres Iniesta has been presented with the Golden Foot Award for the 2013-2014 campaign. Now, the Barcelona playmaker beat Cristiano Ronaldo to win the individual award. The honor is given to the best footballer in the world above the age of 28. Iniesta was the only Barca player who appeared in the top 10, where he was up against Real Madrid talisman Cristiano Ronaldo, Franck Ribéry of Bayern Munich, Wayne Rooney of Manchester United, Manuel Neuer also of Bayern, Andrea Pirlo of Juventus, Thiago Silva, Man City's Yaya Toure, and Brazilian female footballer Marta Vieira da Silva. That's it on Sports News. The News at 10 continues shortly. What a day it was in court as hearing continued on the sentencing of South African athlete Oscar Pistorius today. The court learned that he offered money to Steen Kemp's family after her death, but it was rejected as blood money. Before that, a defense witness said Pistorius would be physically at risk if he was sent to prison. The prosecution, however, sees the defense as trying to further Pistorius' career as opposed to serving time for killing his girlfriend. Cynthia Are has more. Well, thanks a lot. Last month, the athlete was found guilty of the culpable homicide of Miss Steenkamp, but was cleared of murder. The defense is trying to show prison would be an inappropriate punishment. In order to do that, it produced a second witness to say the story showed real remorse and his disability would be a problem in jail. Then, as the fight against the Islamic State continues, Kurdish fighters battling ISIS militants say they've recaptured a strategically important hilltop west of Kobani on Syria's border with Turkey. The advances were made after a series of airstrikes by the U.S.-led coalition. Britain has reiterated its commitment to fighting the extremist group. Also today, some people have been fortunate to survive the Ebola virus disease, but sadly, the same cannot be said for a UN medical worker who has died at a hospital in Germany. Doctors at the hospital said the 56-year-old man, who was originally from Sudan, died despite receiving experimental drugs to treat the virus. 
finally, the doctors treating a Spanish nurse infected with Ebola virus disease say she remains gravely ill but has made a slight improvement. To show their support, nurses at the Carlos III airport in Madrid demonstrated at the building entrance in support of the nurse who contracted the virus last week. And those are the top stories on the foreign scene. Well, many thanks, uh, Cynthia. And the main news again, the Bring Back Our Girls group today made another unsuccessful attempt to take their campaign to the presidential villa. The campaigners marched to, marched to Asurok to demand the release of 197 missing Chibok schoolgirls. They were blocked by armed security operatives. The Senate has provided an assurance that the new constitution for Nigeria will be ready soon. Deputy Senate President E.K. Kuramadu, who presided over today's sit-in, explained that the lawmakers have spent time making sure the document is ready for use. And a defense witness has told the court that Oscar Pistorius risk attack in South Africa's violent jail. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you.